Good morning everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday and this week I want to show you guys how you can cut basswood with your Explore series machine. I will be using my Explore Air 2, but you can use any machine in the Explore series. Um, you will need a deep cut, deep point blade. Um, here is the packaging I have. The housing is black and this is an older packaging, but um, your blade will be black and the rubber tip will be black. Um, so it all goes together. It makes it easier to know that they all go together. You'll also need a purple strong grip mat, some painter's tape. So what, and we're going to need to create a custom setting. So if you haven't already done that, I'm going to show you how. All right, now keep in mind, you're using the deep point blade, which is going to kind of drag through your material instead of slicing through the way that the knife blade does with the maker. So you're not going to be able to cut very intricate detailed things. And if it gets too detailed, you might break it. So what I'm going to do, and in case you've never followed one of my videos before, you can follow along with the mouse by looking for that circle. I'm going to put a few shapes in there and I'm going to set them to be half an inch each. I want to show you guys just how, um, how it does if it's smaller. And then I'm going to just add some text. I'm going to add a lowercase a. I'm going to leave it as is. I used Cricut Sands. I'm going to go over to Color Sync. Just make sure they're all the same color. And I'm going to click Make It. Now, you're going to have to keep in mind when using these sticker materials, you have to move your white star wheels to the side. And you also have to keep in mind you have these rubber wheels here. So in order to protect your material, it's best to put it in on your mat a little bit. And we're going to tape it down. Because it is thicker, it's harder. We don't want it to move around. So I'm going to show you guys. I have it set between 2 and 10 on my mat. So that way, I know that it's not going to get those impressions from the star wheels or the rubber wheels. Now I have done a few test cuts on this sheet. So I'm going to move my... Um, my cuts over a little bit so that I can make sure that I don't cut where I've already cut on my practice ones. So I'm going to move them over and it's best to give them a little bit of space in between each other because it um, you don't want it to be too close and possibly break. Okay, we're going to click continue. I'm going to select my machine. I'm going to show you how to set a custom uh, material on your computer, but also show you on the app too. So we're going to go over here to browse all materials. We will go all the way down. We'll click material settings down here. Whoops. We'll click that material settings and we'll go all the way down to the bottom and we'll click add new material. I'm just going to type in basswood and then we'll click at save and it's going to bring up a screen where we can set our settings. Okay, so we're going to do a multi cut of six. We're going to do the deep point blade. This will default to it and I see that that went off. So we're going to go back and set that back to six. That's very important. And I like to move this um, slider here. And then I can use the plus and minus keys if necessary. So I'm going to set it to 345, six time cuts, and the deep point blade, and we'll save it. Once you save it, it's just going to bring you back to the settings. You can go all the way to the bottom. You can see our settings there. We'll click done. And then when we go to browse on materials, we'll look up basswood. You can select it. You can add it to your favorites. Um, that way it will pop up on your screen automatically. We'll click done and it tells us all of our tools in case we forget. I'm gonna move this aside, we'll load our mat and we'll start cutting. Now it's a similar process on the iPad to create a custom setting, but I'll go over that with you guys after we cut. So I did smaller cuts with you guys just because I want you to be able to see how this really is not made for anything that's more intricate or detailed. This is really, um, this is really just more for cutting 
basic stuff with your explore machine just because of the way the blade is so keep that in mind if you're going to try this out and you're going to pick a design um, i always recommend cutting a small shape um, to test your material beforehand that's why you can see i've got some um, test cuts around here uh, always test it out you want to see um, make sure and I you know I may have a different brand of the basswood so it may cut differently or it might need less pressure it, it really depends um, I'm not even sure if I said this but I used 1 16th basswood um, I don't think you can go thicker on this machine because this already had a bit of a difficult time cutting because it's thicker and again it's harder than the the balsa wood so you want to keep that in mind when choosing uh, your materials always always do a test cut before you just to ensure okay it's all done so we're going to unload it I will pull off all of my tape and so you can see that it cut the center of my A out I lost that somewhere and then if we check the back, you can see it didn't cut all the way through in some areas. So we're going to have to kind of pop it out. So you didn't get a perfectly, um, perfectly clean cut on all of these. Now this is where you can, um, you can add more um, passes. So you could go back and change your setting and do seven passes instead of the six and see how that goes. Um, so yeah, this one, this square really didn't cut through. Um, that is, those are the things that are going to give you a bit more difficulty is, you know, the corners and stuff. You see that. So I'm just going to take my exacto here and kind of cut through and you know, that's not really what you want. So you're going to have to keep in mind that the more curves it has, the more intricate your design is, that's really where you're going to have more issues. So you can see, same thing with my A here, and you can see it's kind of breaking and splintering back there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it on the iPad, and we'll try it with seven passes to see what you guys, um, see if that makes a difference for us. Okay, everyone, so I'm using the same piece of balsa wood, uh, basswood and everything's going to be the same. I'm just doing it on the app. So I've set everything up and we're just going to show you how to set a custom material here. Okay, so again, I'm going to select my pieces on the mat and move them so that it's within where I have my thing. I'm not left-handed, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, move it over and we'll click continue. I have my device nearby, but just um, connect it. And then we'll set our custom material. And again, we're gonna try seven passes this time and see if that gives us a little bit of a better cut than it did before. Okay, so because we already have the basswood setting saved from my computer, we're going to just name it a little differently to determine uh, to see the difference. So we'll go, um, excuse me, we'll do the browse on materials that was over here. We'll go to material settings and we're going to hit this plus key up in the corner and we're just going to label it bass. That way we know the difference between that and our other one. Okay, so we're going to select the deep point blade. And again, we're going to change the pressure to 345, and we're going to try a multi-cut of seven now. On the computer, it allowed us to go up to nine passes. On the app, I'm seeing only seven. So keep that in mind when you're changing your setting. You can always do it, um, you can always try for nine passes on the computer and see if that translates to the app, but I'm not sure. Make this, this the preferred blade for this material, so we set it. We're going to save it and we're going to check deep point blade 345. Okay, so it's already saved, we're good. Now we'll go back here and we'll search for bass. We'll select it and I already have everything loaded and ready to go, so we're just going to cut. So we'll see if that seventh pass makes a difference. Um, also keep in mind too that um, when you have the tape down on it, the tape may have interfered with it if you got any sticky or adhesive on the blade. So try to, um, this time around too, I also moved my um, 
my cuts down a little bit, hopefully so it doesn't um, go through the tape this time because I can see the past times it has gone through the tape. So we're gonna see if that makes a difference also. But I think that the additional passes is what you need. Um, if you go to um, your craft store, I believe I got my wood from Joann's. If you go there and you compare the balsa and the basswood, you're going to see uh, really how different they are. Even though I used 1 16th for the balsa on my last video and I'm using 1 16th for the basswood on this video, it really is a very noticeable difference in the, um, in the way and how sturdy it is. Uh, the basswood is definitely harder wood. And see, uh, my tape is coming off here. So that is definitely going to get screwed up. You got to tape this down really well. Um, hopefully, though, our circle and our square still cut. We're going to just pause and cancel this cut before we ruin it. All right. So that A definitely got screwed up. I didn't tape this down well enough this time. But let's see how our circle, our circle again, popped right out. This actually has a really clean cut. So seven for that worked well. But again, for the square, if we look from the back, it's not even close to cut through. So I do recommend sticking more. Um, see, I can pop it out pretty easily though, but you're going to see you didn't get a very clean cut. Let's see if we can, there we go. So, but that would be easy enough to just trim up with your, um, your true control knife. But keep that in mind when cutting the wood that the balsa is a little bit thicker. All right, everyone, enjoy cutting wood with your Explore machines. Okay, everyone, so I went back. I taped my wood down very well again, and I cut that A with the seven passes. I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm just going to quickly do that and pull it up, and that actually cut really, really nicely. So I'm glad I went back and did that. So seven passes seems to work pretty well. And definitely tape your wood down very well. That is very key, especially um, even if you have an older purple mat or a newer purple mat, you really want it taped down well. All right, enjoy.